No, we don't need to go there. Question number eight, Julie Ann Genta. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport. Does he agree with the Prime Minister's reported statement that there is no need for a fuel tax to pay for Auckland's transport? The Honourable Simon Mr. Bridges. Speaker, yes, I agree with the Prime Minister's statement that we don't need a regional fuel tax. We don't need that uh, additional um, opportunity to contribute. That's because this government has shown that with a, a growing economy, if we manage the country's finances well, we can do large projects across the country, not just in Auckland, without new taxes, and certainly not by cancelling projects like the new East West Link State Highway project, which would be a, a disaster for congestion in Auckland. So, in that case. Order. No, we just need a supplementary question. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julianne Genta. So in that case, how is he going to pay for the extra $2.6 billion in accelerated transport projects for Auckland? Is he going to scrap existing projects or is he going to raise fuel taxes? Where is the money going to come from? Speaker. There are three questions there. The Honourable Simon Bridges. Often there's a couple of things to say. Firstly, it's not, of course, all up to us. The Council also has to contribute and they've uh, got a variety of options there that they can do. Um, that, that don't require big new taxes that uh, Phil and Grant love so much. Uh, secondly, I think if you look at um, our books and the situation that we're in, we've got a strongly growing uh, economy. That means uh, much more uh, fuel tax and uh, road user charges coming in and forecasts for much more as well. On top of, the, on top of that, of course, because we have managed the government's books so well over nine years, we have strong capital, as indicated in this budget, some $32.5 billion actually over the next four years, $12 billion of that uh, in transport alone, and headroom there um, to do a really effective job uh, to continue doing the big projects, but also you know, good management of a strong economy. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julie and Jensen. So which budget is it going to come from? The National Land Transport Fund or general taxation? Mr. The Honourable Simon. I Bridges. think if you've already seen from um, this government, it's a mixture of these things. Um, but, but I repeat what I've said. Uh, the, um, the land transport system is delivering very strong revenues that allows us real headroom to get in and, and deal with the growth that we're seeing, not just in Auckland, all over uh, New Zealand. But also, look, as you saw from that uh, uh, rail announcement that we've made uh, in the weekend, there's 267, I think it is, million dollars from the Crown. Look, that's not at all difficult to digest, those kind of significant rail projects, when you've got a strongly going economy, when you balance your books and you manage the finance as well. We do that on this side of the House. Supplementary. <laughs> Supplementary question, Julie and Genta. Can he confirm that if the extra $2.6 billion for Auckland comes from the transport budget, it will require at least a five cent per litre increase in fuel tax right across the country? The Honourable Simon Bridges. I don't think that's, that's necessarily true. As I say, I think, look, from a variety of sources, both uh, here in Wellington, the petrol taxes and the land transport system across New Zealand, we've got real headroom in this growing economy um, to do big projects. We're already doing it with CRL, with East West, with Waterview, and, uh, you know, as the programme, the ATAP programme makes clear, there's more to come. Point of order. Point of order, Julie Angenta. I seek leave to table a Treasury and Ministry of Transport report that shows in order to raise just $50 million extra per year for the transport budget, one cent per litre increase is needed nationwide on fuel tax. And I just, order, I just want to check, is that report, the members seeking to table, readily available on the net? It says it's in confidence. I think we received it I'll under the OA. I'll leave and the leave will sort it out. Leave will sort to table that particular Treasury MOT document. Is there any objection? There is none. It can be tabled. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julie and Gentle. Okay. Given National was already facing a four billion dollar shortfall to pay for Auckland transport projects, does he seriously expect us to believe that he can fund an extra two point six billion dollars worth of projects without new taxes? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Speaker, I don't accept that uh, at all. I mean, if you look at it, it's what, $24 billion, possibly more, um, uh, that's required. We're already $20 billion of the way there. Two-thirds of that is coming from central government. And yes, we've got headroom to do a bit more. But of course, we'll also need to see the Council um, find some opportunities to contribute, um, because I think it's important that it's a team effort. And I think the Council understands that. Point of order. 
Order. Order. Order. Order. Order. Order. I seek leave to table the yet-to-be-released Auckland Transport Alignment Project report, which shows the additional revenue from fuel tax is not enough to plug Le the gap Order. between Le what's planned. Leave us taught. Leave us sought to table that particular document. Is there any objection? Yes. There is objection. Question, question number nine. John Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport.